Every Halloween, we see the same types of costumes. Your sexy costumes, your pop culture outfit. Ooh, I'm a sewer clown. And you're a year too late pop culture costumes. Whatever happened to Ken Bone? But every year, somehow you, God, these teeth suck. But every year, somehow, there are people who put on costumes that are about eh, 200 years too late. That Halloween hiccup for Julian Hoff. She dressed up in blackface as one of the characters from the Netflix drama Orange is the New Black. Dressed as the Jamaican bobsled team. Kanye West. Tiger Woods. Bill Cosby. Trayvon Mutt. My thoughts exactly. Now, some people put on blackface because they want to offend people. I ain't talking to y'all. Y'all doing an excellent job. I'm talking to the people who put it on, get checked for it, then go, whoa, I didn't know that that was offensive. OK, fine. One, apology accepted. Two, let me holler at you, dog. Excuse me. Race is never a costume, unless we're talking about aliens, like, you know, Klingons or blue people from Avatar or whatever the hell Ted Cruz is. My point is, Blackface is rooted in a very painful past. That's why it's so problematic. Oh, wait, who are you? I'm Eric Lott, professor of English and American Studies at City University of New York. This is a terrible costume. Tell the people about yeah. blackface. It's rooted in the history and politics of slavery and the attempt to control and own the black image. Minstrel shows dominated popular culture. And when they died out at the end of that century, migrated to Hollywood. Cotton Watts and Chick! And there's blackface in all kinds of American movies. Now I understand why blackface may not seem like a hate symbol at first, but unlike a burning cross, blackface started out as entertainment. Kind of took the edge off. Like if Nazis had an improv troupe. And all we need for Ein Suggestion is the name of Ein Place where Hitler should invade next. Bro, stop eating your people. Get your ass out of here. The thing about minstrel shows back in the day is that they weren't just a form of entertainment, they were also how white people learned about black culture. That's like if your only understanding of billionaires came from watching Fifty Shades of Grey. You'd think Bill Gates was into some freaky So what's the Wi-Fi password? We don't need it, you look busy. <laughs> And if you really want to know what's bad about minstrel shows and blackface, is that it made it seem like slavery wasn't that bad. Like the black people was having a good ass time, right? That's right. Blackface performers on stage would present slaves singing, dancing, having a grand old time, cutting up, telling jokes. The whole thing was rooted in white supremacy. Exactly. Minstrel shows got people thinking that slavery was a damn booze cruise. Zip -a -dee -dee -da, zip -a -dee -a. Put bluntly, Blackface is like smoking on an airplane. It used to be acceptable a long time ago, but now we know it hurts people around us. That's why when it comes to blackface, your intentions don't matter. Sean is portraying a historical figure assigned by his teacher. They thought it was inappropriate and it would be disrespectful to black people. But I say that it's not. I like black people. Look, this is not the kid's fault. It's the culture we've created where his parents thought that was okay. But just because you can't wear black makeup doesn't mean you can't dress up as a black person. See, these stylish white people do it all the time. I'm feeling crazy in love with this Jay-Z and Beyonce couple costume. Ooh, now that's how you keep up with the Kardashians. Little AI even got the cornrows and tattoos. And hot damn, Ellen nails Nikki so perfectly, Taylor Swift started beefing with her. And there you have it. Doesn't matter what your race is, the secret to a good Halloween costume is... Let the costume do all the work. That's right, Steve Bannon, baby. You can have a racist costume without having a racist costume. All right, let's drink. Not with you, though. No, no.